Hello, welcome to the teacher channel. Teacher channel, a place of knowledge, a place where people are ready for emergency through adequate knowledge, through adequate information. And today I have got something very, very delighting something very important something you like you would like to hear you want to know more about it okay and you can see it right there i'm talking about shock and you can see some beautiful um graphics okay and some of the terms some some of the some of these terms uh, you know sound very big so don't worry where i'm going to explain them in relation to shock so you can see cardiogenic you can see hypovolemic anaphylactic distributive neurogenic and then you can see some vital organs of the body the brain the heart the liver uh, these lungs and kidneys so how what are the relationships we're going to see that shortly i will explain all this in relation to this central topic shock objectives after watching the video you will learn more about shock you also know what to do during shock emergency i want to let you know that the shock i'm going to talk about now or the shock that i'm talking about now is emergency kind of so is an emergency situation an aspect of emergency and i'm going to review that in full details shortly so there are four items in the agenda as you can see on the uh, slide on the screen there what is shock very big question what is it what is shock of course you know there are if if you if you ask many people uh, many many people will see this from emotional point of view many people know shock or relay shock or map shock to emotional uh, distress when somebody is emotionally shocked uh, or emotionally down you see them using shock so what could be the reasons why shock develop causes of shock how do you recognize it very important what and what do you need to see or hear for you to say that somebody is in shock? So how do you recognize shock? Uh, that will be looked into as well. More importantly, what do you do during shock emergency? First aid for shock. What is shock? The shock I am talking about now, okay, or the shock that I'm going to reveal more about is a medical kind of shock. So with that, I am excluding every other type of shock that you may know that is not related to medical. Something like emotional shock, where well, that is shock, but that is not the type of shock that I am talking about. Electric shock is common. Many people know about that. That is not the type of shock I am about to talk about. The shock I'm talking about, you can see the definition, colorful definition. Shock is an, an inadequate delivery of blood, oxygen, and nutrients. To the vital organs of the body now i want you to notice um three elements 
highlighted in that definition, okay, blood, oxygen, and nutrients. So if blood, oxygen, and nutrients are not getting to the vital organs of the body adequately, sufficiently, okay, and if that situation is sustained for some time, shock will develop. So shock is actually a response to this situation whereby blood, oxygen, and nutrients are not getting into the vital organs of the body. So these are the vital organs. So in that definition, vital organs of the body we are mentioned so uh, so shock has relationship with these vital organs so inadequate delivery of remember the do, those three elements blood oxygen and nutrient to the brain the liver the heart the lungs the kidneys okay so that is shock. Shock will happen if these organs are not receiving enough of blood, oxygen, and nutrients. So this is what medical shock is about. This is the meaning. This is the definition of medical shock. Okay, Inadequate delivery of blood, oxygen, and nutrients to the vital organs of the body. And these are the five vital organs of the body. Causes of shock. Heart attack is one, uh, one of the reasons why people go into shock and that is called um, cardiogenic shock. Another uh, cause another thing that may lead to shock, medical shock, is severe allergic reactions, and that will lead to a type of shock called anaphylactic shock. Another one, another cause, another reason, another thing that could lead to shock is severe blood loss. So if somebody losing blood and losing blood and nothing is done, the person is going to go into shock and it is called hypovolemic shock. So another cause of shock is severe burns. Severe burns. And this is this likely this this leads to uh distributive shock and finally spinal or nerve injuries can also lead to shock. And the type of shock from this is called neurogenic shock. So heart attack, severe allergic reactions, severe blood loss, severe burns, and spinal or nerve injuries are the causes of shock. Any of them can lead to medical shock. How do you recognize shock? Shock is recognized by some signs and symptoms. So there are some signs and symptoms that point to shock. They point to shock. When you see them, for sure, they tell you they are announcing that shock is there. Okay? Um, so remember that signs are objective can be seen. You can see signs. Example, pale skin color. Bleeding is another example. Um, rashes or highs on the skin, that's another signs you can see. Symptoms are subjective. Subjective um, in the sense that you cannot see them. You can see them. Okay, somebody may have to verbalize them. Somebody may have to tell you the experience. So these are like internal feelings 
that if they are not revealed, you may not know. Example is pain, nausea, anxiety, fear, okay, among others. So there are signs and symptoms that point to shock. We're going to see them in the next slide. So first, pale, cool, and clammy skin. So skin color. Okay. So look at the skin color of that person. Is it pale? Is it cool? Is it clammy? Then look at number two, the pulse, which is the reflection of the heartbeat. Is it rapid going a bit fast or faster but weak? So rapid but weak pulse uh, is another sign. Um, rapid but shallow breathing. Rapid shallow breathing. That is another pointer. Okay. Nausea, taste, anxiety, vomiting may be present also. Maybe the person may be experiencing those. And levels of, level of consciousness, LOC, may vary. It depends on where the, uh, the stage of the shock. So at the initial uh, stage, the person may still be alert. But as time goes on, as uh, the shock goes up, advances to higher level, critical level, agitation may start. The person may even become disoriented. All right. So those are the signs and symptoms. Very typical, especially the first two. Okay. The skin color, the heart, the heart, um, the heart begins to pump more blood. Okay, remember that shock is inadequate delivery of blood and the, the responsibility of pumping is that of the heart. So for that reason, the heart begins to uh, step up. But remember that the heart itself is one of the vital organs that is not receiving enough. So that's the reason why it's weak. The same applies to lungs because oxygen has to be brought in. So the lungs want to bring in more, more oxygen. But because the lungs, um, the lungs are also weak, so the, the breathing will be shallow as well. So these are some of the typical signs and symptoms of shock. When you see this, um, some of them, then you may begin to suspect that shock is happening. First, A for shock. So shock is a serious medical emergency. That, that has to be noted down. Shock is serious. Shock should be treated with um, sense of urgency. In fact, it requires urgent medical intervention. Urgent, immediately. The way you treat somebody who is experiencing heart attack, the way you treat somebody who is uh, experiencing stroke, that is the same urgency that should be used in terms of shock. Why? Because the vital organs are not receiving enough and they may begin to shut down if the shock continues. So that's the reason why it has to be attended to very, very urgently, very, very urgently. So first aid for shock. Um, so ensure the safety usually, safety first, make sure the scene is safe, make sure you also think about your protection, all right, you need, you need to wear gloves, so protect yourself from contracting disease, make sure you obtain permission or consent from the victim, there are two types of consent, voluntary or informed, and then another one is called the implied consent. Implied is used in a case where the victim is unable to give you verbal consent. Maybe the, the victim is unconscious or under age or under some medical conditions that make it impossible or hard for this person to give consent. In that case, you can proceed. Okay, then number three says the R A B C of the victim. R means responsiveness, A is airway, B is breathing, C is circulation. So you need to do primary survey. 
where you assess the R, A, B, C of the victim. Okay, and then uh, most likely this is where you uh, dictate the the signs and symptoms that uh, that uh, that were described previously. Then um, activate EMS because it's a medical emergency. If it is present, you need to call 911. Okay, when you suspect that shock is going on, is a 911 call because it's a medical emergency. Um, so while you're waiting for EMS to arrive, you can put the victim in a supine position, which is first up. If no spinal cord, uh, spinal injury is suspected. Uh, more uh, also an important thing, another important thing you can do is to cover that victim. Uh, this is to maintain the body temperature. So during shock, you have to cover the victim to maintain the body temperature. And number seven, never give the victim anything to eat or drink. Okay, never, never, even if the victim is thirsty or hungry, this is not the best time to do that. This person is already in shock. The vital organs are stressed. So it is not wise to introduce anything through the mouth. Okay, so you can read more from Heart and Stroke Manual 2015. Okay, so thank you so much. I believe you have learned some things about shock and you are better equipped to respond to shock if you see it. Please watch my other videos at the teacher channel. Okay, and please remember to subscribe. Subscribe to this channel, please, if you have not done so. You can also set uh, the notification bell, turn it on, so that when I upload new videos, you'll be able to get my notification, and in that way you you know, stay current. And of course, I would really appreciate if you can like and share the videos. Like and share the videos. Thank you so much. I still have more videos. If you have not watched them, please watch them. And I'm going to upload more and more videos. I appreciate your time and I'm sure you have learned and I say thank you and bye for now.